we go. And your mic uh, records way better than mine. So I, I, it, that answers the question. It's the mic, not my computer. All right. So that's good. So now we can like sit at semi reasonable distances and not literally lick the mic every time we speak. Hi, Duncan. The idea of deep throating a microphone, it, it, this microphone is not appealing to me. We, neither one of us could deep throat it. It's, no. t- it's too large. It's bigger than my fist. See, now I want to try it, but that's solely a visual gag. Or for those ASMR freaks, if I just started eating the microphone. You're an ASMR freak. I, no, okay. I listen to it, but I'm not a freak. Okay. There are people who are, like, I, I'll see videos, because, you know, I, I do listen to it. So I'll see videos where it's, like, ear licking. I'm like, that's weird. That is weird. Or then there's one I saw where in the comments they're like, it was so specific that it was clearly a fetish. Yeah. But this person, like, kind of caters to that crowd. But, like, without going outside of their comfort zone. Yeah. Which is respectful, I guess. Because, you know, fetish people will, will pay big bucks. Uh, it was like, can you make a video of just the microphone on your stomach? But make sure you don't eat that day. But, so it's just, but oh. but have a glass of coffee before you record so I can hear it sloshing around. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Welcome to the ASMR kink cast. The kink shame cast? Yeah, I guess I was kink shaming. Yeah. Is there any kinks you shame? J- or just like the illegal ones? Mm, well, I mean, the illegal ones are easy to shame. Well, yeah, because they're illegal. Yeah. Your fetishes are easy to shame. I don't even have any. Mine are just plain. Plain. Which shame. is pretty easy to make fun of, I yeah. guess. Well, yeah, especially where, like, when I say plain, I don't mean... I don't mean, you know, oh, you know, blonde big tits. You know, that's what I like. Ew. That's disgusting to me. You gotta look like... Velma? No, okay, if I could put, like, a real person to this look... Um... The mom in the past... From Back to the Future. Yes. I don't know who. I don't know what actress played her. But. I don't even remember what she looks like. I don't have a visual representation for this, and I'm very tired. Well, you shouldn't have uh, asked to come over so early. I would be tired even if it was like two. O'clock. That's fair. No matter when I come over, you seem tired. Mm. That's, that's plain as hell. Not really. Well, I mean, she's, hair, like, she's in a fucking movie. Of course she's attractive. Those curls. <laughs> you can't get those curls normally. You gotta have, like, three people working on your head. Because uh, I haven't said my name yet. I'm Colin, and this is the Power Moves Podcast. I guess we should do a real intro. It's been, a, I don't know. Oh, yeah. It's been two or three weeks. Yeah. I'm Duncan. I said your name. You did? I said, hi, Duncan. Oh, I'm very tired. Which would give the fans the illusion that I am not Duncan. That the other man speaking is. Okay. Unless there's a third person who hasn't spoke yet. How you been? Good. Well, don't we live exciting lives that we have a podcast about? Because every week is, what have you done? The same thing. Cool. I watched Son of Zorn. Yeah. And, and I assume you kind of enjoyed it? I've watched eight episodes, and I can honestly say it's kind of formulaic. Well, I'm it feels it feels like like now that it's on Netflix, I'm not sure how it did on Fox. I don't think it ever got a second season. I might yeah. be wrong, but but I think they were like, oh well, it didn't do well on Fox. Um, let's try and put it on Netflix, and I can honestly say. Um, very early on in the first couple episodes, Zorn is not, like, he is not animated well. 
Um, I mean, it's, it's okay. Yeah, I, I know they're trying to go for that, like, 80s cartoon aesthetic, where it's, like, flat colors and kind of simple animation. And then in later episodes, he's he feels a lot more fluid, and he's able to... He has a more range of emotion. Yeah. I mean, it looks a lot nicer. The series was canceled after the... Uh, after the first... E- even before, I think, it was finished airing. Jesus. <laughs> no, sorry. A- almost immediately after it finished airing, it was canceled. Yeah. I mean... The humor's not there, I find. Like, the humor's a really hit and miss. It's... Feels like it's very much so the lowest... Like... It feels like Fox tried to make another Simpsons hit. Well, I mean, everyone's looking for that... That next... Adult animation star. Because, like, Simpsons is dying but it's still I think it still has at least a few years left yeah and well actually Fox has Archer so they're fine even that people like it I don't I haven't watched it in years but Art after finishing Archer and Dreamland I I, like Archer and Dreamland is just uh, my Archer Vice Archer and Dreamland I didn't enjoy at all I think it's time to put Archer to bed I mean, I, I agree with that were a lot of shows. Well, yeah. Uh, I have the, the Son of Zorn uh, views. Mm-hmm. It did pretty well. So, I like, mean, they have no real reason to cancel it, other than, I guess, maybe they just didn't like it. I, fa- I found whenever you were dealing with any character that was an actual person and not... And not one of the, uh, I don't know what, they're all from this island nation called Zorn something or other. Yeah. Zoraya, Zoraya, I don't know, I can't remember. But, um. Zanzibar land. Zanzibar land. But I found that whenever a character, one of the, one of the animated characters such as Zorn was on screen, the humor was like pulling teeth, but it's funny because he's a cartoon. Yeah, it's funny when he it, it's it it. But here's the thing: it's like the human characters are having their little bits and they're t- trying to be funny, and I'm sitting there like, when Zorn coming? Like I'm I'm looking for Zorn just because whenever he's in the, the shot, things just go from, oh, we're two couple or a couple just talking about our lives and how Zorn keeps fucking everything up and Zorn comes in and is like I've got a fucking giant eagle's head in my hands and it's dripping blood everywhere aren't I hilarious uh right I, I knew Fox had another animated show but it's not out yet okay they have uh from the archer guys uh Deadpool Oh no, that's right. They were picking um, because originally they had like a few studios who were, who were like, "Hey, every one of you do like a uh, a little test." Yeah, a little test. Rebel Taxi had talked about this, and um, the company that did uh, Black Dynamite was origi- was did a test for it, mm-hmm. and apparently, it's super fucking amazing. Yeah, and we'll, ne- we'll, we'll never see it. Yeah, because they were like, let's go with Archer and limited anime. Like, it, I it, love Archer, but Deadpool in the Archer style, I don't think will do well. Well, I mean, it it's not necessarily going to be in that style. We just know it's from that studio. But what else have they done? Nothing, which leads for two possible... For- an equal chance of both possibilities. 100% of things they've done looks like that. Mm-hmm. But... Frisky Dingo. Did they do that too? I think they did Frisky Dingo. I mean, if they did, then I'll, I'll eat my words. But... I don't know. I don't think there's a guarantee it'll look like that. But because of chances the success of, of like Archer... Archer, Frisky Dingo, like that's what that studio is known for. And Fox is going like, oh, well... 
uh, Deadpool did well and Archer does well, bam, match made in heaven. Yeah, they they brought on people. Brought on what's his name, Donald Glover. Mm-hmm. The kids love Donald Glover. So I, I guess they hope just you know, hey, kids like Deadpool, kids like Archer, yeah, the kids like Donald Glover. I guess on paper, like it's a it's a home run, but we'll, we'll see. I probably, I mean, I'll check it out. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, other than that, I started a new game plus on The Witcher Three, uh, Witcher Wild Hunt. Bad choice, but okay. Why? Play new games. But I want to. New games are better. They're better, but they're not The Witcher. Play The Witcher Two. <laughs> no. Like Gwent. I hate Gwent so much. I hate that with a passion. Like Gwent is I don't I don't understand Gwent and I don't like it. I'd rather just play the game. It's fair. And hunt monsters. I, I mean I kind of want to sit down with Witcher at some point. I probably uh, honestly at this point I probably never will. But I heard it's good. Gotta sit down with my stories. <laughs> and I, n- nothing else new? Mm, no. Not really. Not that I can think of. Or that, right now, and then by the end of the podcast... You'll be like, I'll shit. Be like, oh, <laughs> shit, all this. <laughs> These nine things. Yeah. How was... Uh, anything you up to? That was coherent, right? Well, the the same shit as always. Just different games, different movies. You started playing Yakuza. I did, but I, I don't want to talk about that. Cause we'll, I've already mentioned it on the podcast, I think. If not, I know I mentioned it in an episode of Uncharted that may or may not have aired yet. I don't know. But the next game we're playing is Yakuza, so I'll stay pretty tight-lipped about that. It's fun. I'm yeah. enjoying it. I'm already, like, how long to be listed at, like, 12 hours, I think? I'm at, like, 11 and a half, and I'm not even halfway done. You've been playing the host club, haven't you? I actually haven't even set foot in it. Oh. I've been doing too much other shit. I just like beating people up. It's fun. Curb stomping people. It, it's, it's a game that, like, perfected Brutality. the, open, no, the no. open world, okay. I think. It's the best open world game, and it's not really open world. It's a sandbox, really. Yeah. Which really the only difference between the two is size, I think. But it it's so easy to get distracted with something equally as fun as the plot, <laughs> which that is like, uh, like you know I re- you know I've played open world games. I can't think of any off the top of my head. But I know I have. Well, I I haven't played The Witcher. I wish I could tie it into that. But Uh, yeah, there's just yeah. Sure, your world's big, but if there's not shit to do, who cares? Oh shit. Where Yakuza's world is small, but there's tons to do. I haven't set foot in most of the buildings. So try and pronounce that name for me. Stepan Sajik? I don't know. Yeah. He did, he did uh, the comic Sunstone, which was the BDSM lesbian comic. Y- yeah, you've shown me. That I, yeah. Yeah. Um, he did the cover for Aquaman 31, and I kind of want to pick up Aquaman 31. Why? Because he's one of my favorite artists. Let's just get the print. Can I do that? Pro, pro, I mean, probably. And you have, you're looking at right, you're looking at the picture of the cover right now. There you go. The part you care about is acquired. Hmm. Unless he did the art for the whole issue, that's a little different. But yeah, if he did the art for the whole issue, that which is unlikely. Cool. Usually, a guest artist just does the cover. Yeah. But anyway, Yakuza is fun. Uh, 
beat Lost Legacy. Can't say shit about that. Still airing on the channel. Uh, well, actually, I've more than beat. I've I've one hundred percent platinum. Did collected everything. Did everything. I'm done with it. Uh, I I will give the uh, a spoiler to a, a podcast coming at some point. Might not be for a couple weeks. There will be an Uncharted podcast all about Uncharted. Uh, that Duncan probably won't be here for because he's never played them. No. But if he happens to play all of them before we record it, he can be part of it. Or he can anyway, as long as he doesn't care about the whole thing getting spoiled. Uh, then, then movies was much more interesting. It? No. I've not seen it. Oh, that's right. You're I've never reading, seen it. You're reading the book. I, I have bought the book. Did you know you're not a true fan of it if you don't if you didn't know there was an underage gangbang? P- okay, anyone says you're not a true fan of blank if you haven't blank. Fuck off. <laughs> like fandom isn't a, a like a tangible thing. So like if you're a fan of it, there you go. You're a fan. Doesn't matter what you have. But you're not a real fan. Does that does it's not a real thing. Uh. But yeah, re- reading the book of it, it's pretty good. Now, the only thing noteworthy in it ties in with the only noteworthy movie I've watched was I, I, I attended my first international film festival yesterday. Oh. And that was, by all accounts, a terrible experience. Oh? Why so, that? Well, okay, the movie was great. I, I watched uh, Stronger. It was a movie about... A guy learning how to get his act together after his legs got blown off in the Boston bombing. Yeah. Pretty emotional movie, but, like, it's cut just right where, like, oh, here's a sad moment, but let's quickly let's crack a joke to, like, not have everyone down all the time. And it was easy to crack jokes because it's set in Boston, and they all have thick Boston accents. And, like, even things that are supposed to be sad... Yeah, are even kind of hard to be sad and I think the director knew it like when the guy first wakes up in the hospital slight spoilers it, well I mean it's not really spoilers because we, we know he loses his legs it's in the fucking trailer uh, one of his best friends is there and he goes in like the thickest Boston accent that I will butcher I'm sure he just says bro I don't know how to fucking tell you this he ain't got no fucking legs. And I'm like, this is supposed to be very emotional. And I'm having a hard time not laughing. And then there's just like... J- just a whole lot of Boston people being Boston people. Uh, so it was, it was pr- pretty good. But anyway, before the movie starts... Everyone... I can... Like, I, I went alone. Yeah. And so I'm just eavesdropping on every conversation I can hear. And... Everyone across the board is like sniffing their own ass because they're at a film festival. So they're, you know, they respect the art. Which first of all, I'll say right now, there is no difference in art, be it a huge multi-billion dollar Marvel movie or a movie at a film festival. They're both the same amount of art, which is if you liked it, it's art and, and story. I'm not saying... It's this, it's both art is what I should say. It's not doesn't mean they're both good. But so everyone was all, I'm better than everyone was saying like bragging to each other that you're how good they were for being at a film festival for seeing real artful movies. And then some, and then just and then I the movie. I tell you, bro. No, it, oh, well, okay. not even that because the rest of the movie was like, you know. I, I mean, it's a drama for a lot of it. Hmm. So, that mentality isn't entirely misplaced, but what was is when the movie started, do you know what happened? They talked and pulled out their fucking phones like every other asshole who goes to a movie. They weren't there to respect the art. They were just there to sniff each other's asses and be like, we're respecting the art. Why the fuck are you there? The tickets are more expensive than a normal movie ticket, for starters. How much are we talking? I mean, not that much more. It was only $15, but... <laughs> Uh, for for special screenings, non 3D, like usually it's only a couple bucks. I mean that's a stretch, but twenty some. Not for a single ticket. It's pretty expensive. 
Anyway, so film festival people are all terrible. I hated all of them. And yes, I'm saying that because I think I'm better than them. The iron, just... The I iron. am an admitted hypocrite. Yeah. Oh, okay, I was talking about this to someone the other day. Because the, the big talk is, is BoJack right now, because it just came out. Yeah. I, I don't like BoJack. No, I am well aware. It, it's it's okay. I watched the first season, and I liked it. Yeah. And I watched most of the second season, and I was like, that, that's enough. That's fine. I, I'm sure if I sat down, I could sit through it. I just don't care to. I've got, I've got Yakuza to play. But I, it's the only time I've ever been able to be like, oh, I don't like these shows not because they're bad. It's because I am hipster garbage. Because there's a more obscure show that does BoJack better than BoJack, but I'm the only person who's ever seen it. I mean, not literally, but... Oh, fuck. That Louis C.K. one? Horace and Pete. Horace and Pete. Yep. Well, because I heard someone describe BoJack specifically as, like, it's a serious, like, depressing drama. With some funny bits. Yeah. Which, even what I've seen of Bojack, that's pretty uh, fair. Yeah. It, it, you know, it looks like a cartoon, but it's very much not a, a cartoon in your, like, you know, kind of family sitcom. Ha ha. And, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's why. I'm a total asshole because people haven't seen the better version of this show. So, so a good week of self-realization. Cat. Yeah, yes. There is a cat. So, what do you think about that uh, character creator in South Park? I'm not touching this with a 10 foot barge pole. You got nothing? Mmm. -hmm. I mean, at basing difficulty off of race is kind of a little uh, on the nose. Can we agree that it is a very South Park thing to do? Yes. Which, by the way, uh, the new season of South Park started. It's pretty good. Uh, I don't have cable. I don't, I don't either. I watched it at work. Oh. I never thought about that. <laughs> but... Yeah, it was okay. So I was a little worried about this, and I, I listened to a white man and a black man break this down. Because there's like one fair thing with it is like if you like playing games, like replaying them on a harder difficulty, you don't really want to make a character. If you're white, you might not want to make a black character. Not because of racism, it's just typically in a character or creator, most people Create make themselves. themselves. Yeah. And if you're not black, you go, I don't want to play as a black character. And vice versa. If you're black, you're probably going to make a black character. And it's not really fair to play on hard. But apparently it does not affect gameplay. It's just some people will be meaner to you. But, like, the battles are the same difficulty. Wow. So the game is not actually harder. It's just, if you're black, they will treat you like you're black in a small Colorado town. So kill you probably. No tokens still alive. Yeah. So uh, I'm a little slow on this. Okay. And I, I I don't know if you've seen. I I watched my first uh, PUBG and also. Whose decision was it to call it PUBG? Because Battlegrounds is one word. Player unknown battlegrounds. Yes, so it okay. should just be pub, but yes. everyone calls it PUBG. But battlegrounds is one word. Yeah, that infuriates me. Yeah, but anyway, most played game, sweeping the world, huge hit. Everyone's copying it. I've only seen my first like game ever yesterday. Game's fucking terrible. Um, it is not optimized well, well among other things yeah well like i can look past the graphics like clearly performance wise it doesn't run great no even watching people with like a, a decent machine still doesn't run super well i'm kind of worried that this is leading gonna like this is that uh, early access culture coming right on through 
and developers being like, we don't need to finish games. We can put out a half-assed pile of shit, and people will still buy it if it's, like, at least semi-competent gameplay. So yeah. we got shit like Ark, Sis- Ark Survival. Yeah. Like, that... Well, I mean, that all, ge- all of... The, I don't think... That game runs poorly on PS4, and it runs, like, dog shit on Xbox... Barely runs on PC. Yeah. Uh, no, we're going down a terrible fucking... We're going to the darkest timeline where developers are just going to start putting out unfinished games. Well, well the, I, I, don't think we'll ever, I don't think we'll get worse than we are currently. No, I... I but we're in a bad spot. Yeah. But I don't even mean from that. Like, I don't even mean, like, Battleground is unfinished. I mean, it's... It looks unfinished. It's pretty limited. There's one map... I mean, they're, I think they just put in a second one recently. Maybe. So that's fair. But I mean, even the Grand Theft Auto uh, copy, Motor Wars, is apparently an unbalanced pile of shit. So, the thing is, I watched it. And what I watched was someone playing for their first time. Yeah. You watched Wooly and Pat? I watched Wooly and Pat. And Pat had played it a fair amount. So yeah. he was like, there to guide his, guide his hips. Yeah. And he was like, wow, you're doing really well for your first time. All he did was lay in a fucking corner, and that's considered good. You just lay on the... You find somewhere roughly-ish in the middle, and you just sit still and you don't move, and then you win. How was that fun? Like, I don't see how anyone could enjoy that. Like, don't get me wrong. Well, I because see... you outlast everyone else. Yeah, but that's not fun. You're just... The, the gameplay is you sitting still. Yeah, the game, the game is to survive. Like, there are many different strategies, like... You could go around killing everybody. Well, like, it doesn't... You could try and just run and hide. Or you can sit in one place in a bush with camo on and just sit there. It's a game that, say a match lasts 30 minutes. Yeah. The first two minutes are fun, and the last minute is fun. Everything else is literally you just sitting still. Not doing anything. As long as you have a decent... As long as you have the sound turned on, you'll hear if anyone's around you, so you don't have to keep watch. And well, that's if it. they're not sneaking up on you. It's true, but... I just don't... I don't get it. And now I've never played it. And I'm now I've seen tons of highlight clips where, like, clearly there is fun somewhere. And I was talking to someone the other day, because they play it. And, and they admitted that they're, like, 30% of my time with that game has been fun. The rest is... It's like a drug, apparently. The, the, the 70% of the time, you're just... Hoping to find more of that 30%, and you just never get there. Hoping to find that next hit. Yeah. But, yeah, I... Yeah, I am curious, though. Because I said I don't think games will be released in a worse state. But what if? Well, we've, we're already in that, like, day one patches. See, like games. anyone who doesn't understand the day one patch is just an idiot. I think day one patches are totally fine. No. It, it's called... The the game ships three or four weeks before Unfinished. it's... Unfinished. Before it's... You're not even buying the same product once the day one patch... Did it, did it, wait. The game is shipped four weeks before it releases. Mm-hmm. That's four weeks of dev time. That's a long time depending on what you're doing. So, in that four weeks, they patch in whatever wasn't finished. Well, maybe do that first before you ship it? So that, I mean, yeah, technically, as long as they just increased every game's dev time by a month is something we wouldn't notice. Yeah. But, I don't think it really changes anything. I mean, every game these days has to install when you get it anyway. So you can't... The, the days of turn on the game and play it are dead. Which kind of sucks, but... I just... I want to play a game that's finished right off the bat. Like, I don't want to have to deal with day one patches or adjusting things or just let me play the fucking game. And let it be a good game good finished game 
Yeah, I don't know if that'll ever happen. Because, no, like I said, no matter what, you, you play the game, you have to install it anyway. Yeah. And while you're installing it, you might as well download that day one patch. So, I don't actually, I don't think you have to install games on the Switch. So, they have a good. Yeah. Life is good for them. And also, I want to talk to the miracle workers over there, because apparently, like, someone tweeted out this morning, NAC is like 35 gigs. Yeah. Which is like standard game amount of data. Mario Odyssey is five. Jeez. How? What fucking wizards crafted that? And like... Well, Mario is made out of like 20,000 polygonal... Tr okay, yeah. On a f purely physics aspect, Knack is a more heavy game. But like... I would say Mario probably has more content. Probably has more world. Probably has more... F you know, things in it, and it's five. Like, if it was Knack is 35 and Mario is, like, 20, I'd be like, okay, yeah, maybe you can chalk that up to, like, Knack might have higher detail in its objects. I don't know. But that gra drastic of a difference... Wizardry. You watching Humans? No, no, I don't think... You know anyone who's is watching it, Humans? Is it even out? I think. I mean, I've seen reviews, and I saw and that it's it not got... good. And I saw it got kicked out of theaters. Really? Yeah. To, to uh... A any theaters that were showing it kicked it out to just have more screenings of it. Oh, I mean, to put all that advertisement out for the Inhumans in comic books on TV... And then just have it bomb. Yeah. Like, what were they going to do with... Like, what was the plan with Inhumans? Well, it was going to be... In, well, it not was going to be. It still is part of the MCU. And MCU is hot, so that means everything in it would be hot. But that's, that's, no, that's true. Not true it's almost like the Avengers are all their most popular characters. So people would go see them. Yeah. But when you release... Yeah, I, you know what it is? Guardians of the Galaxy was a fluke. And they thought it was, oh, if we just release a movie with more with Marvel on it, people will go see it. Yeah. Because, uh, like, people watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Stop shaking the fucking microphone. It's picking up. Oh, is it? Yes. It's very sensitive. Uh, yeah, because Guardians of the Galaxy, nobody knew. Yeah. So I think that was just a fluke. That people went to see that. But. And then they were like, well, if we can get away with these unknown losers, yeah, I, let's I, try the Inhumans. Well, because I think a lot of it is, too, is the MCU, as we know it, is wrapping up. Mm -hmm. It will end in the next two years. Because we just have the two uh, Infinity War movies, and then what they've been building up to for however many years now is over. Mm -hmm. They gotta start setting up something new. So, in humans. Uh, you know, they planted their seeds elsewhere. Like, I... Whatever they're doing with Spider-Man, I don't know. And yeah, so... I think their heart was in the right place. But, I mean, personally, I just don't even think the Inhumans are likable. I, I tried to, hearing that they were getting a TV show, I picked up some of the comics. I, I could only sit through a couple issues that were just bad. But Black Bolt. No. No, okay, and now... The only, one of the few people to defeat Thanos. The only thing I'll say... Just by opening his mouth. Is maybe the comic I was reading is considered bad in human stuff but I couldn't get into it and like I'll, I'll read some garbage but like the characters have boring powers it's... but hair though you know I still despite how many people have said how bad that wig looks like the CG wig never seen it 
I imagine it looks terrible. I don't know. Maybe they'll try something else again. Will they get that Squirrel Girl show coming? With with that gang of kids? I, I don't remember what it's being called. The Archie Crew? No, it's not Archie. It's like... Image? It's even lower tier than oh. Defenders. Because it's like Squirrel Girl and... Her university friends? Sure. Squ I don't know. Squ Squirrel Girl TV show. I get that much like Deadpool. She's pot hot. She's a hot come on. Marvel's right now. New Warriors is what it's called. I could honestly care less. And it's going to be a comedy. I care. I don't care at all now. And the guy who wrote it wrote uh, Scrubs. Uh, that might be good. Uh, now, does it say who's in it? Uh, Squirrel Girl. And, uh... Squirrel Girl. Did you know that Squirrel Girl has defeated Deadpool and Doctor Doom? All right, and uh, Cloak and Dagger. Oh, yeah, Cloak and Dagger. That should be Get, get that at some point. Although I am kind of interested what DC is doing with their Hawk and Dove characters. I don't, I don't know shit about that. It's basically Cloak and Dagger, except instead of Cloak and Dagger, Hawk and Dove. Well, I'll say this. Uh, the Squirrel Girl, they, they've cast... Where's the DC? She's cute. Where's And the only squirrel girl I know is, like, hideous, to be yeah. polite. I think it's just the way the uh, comic artist draws it. it. Honestly, that's probably what it is. All right, so uh, who, who, else, who else is in this, uh, this here new Did Warriors? Did you know that Wolverine has fucked Squirrel Girl? I mean, it doesn't surprise me. We've got Mr. Immortal. That's a terrible name. The guy, the, he, he's suicidal. We've got Night Thrasher. Night Thrasher. Uh, is it, is it, is it... Speedball? Speedball. Is he constantly uh, just hopped up on... No, I guess he just throws balls really fast. Oh. And we've got... Uh, microbe. Okay. Uh... Ability, he can talk to germs. I don't think germs would be able to talk back. Telekinetically. Telekinetically, okay. Uh, we've got debris, spelled D-E-B-R-I-I. -I. Mm -hmm. She is a, a low-level telekinetic. She can move paper cups. Mm -hmm. There's your next hero cast, everybody. The main character can talk to squirrels, and the quick-witted, sassy black friend can move paper cups with her mind. It'll be a hit, I'm sure. Can we not just do, uh, what is it, the Northern Avengers? X Factor. Oh, like with the the Sasquatch. Or Sasquatch. Uh, we'll we'll get them, because I don't know. There will be some level of nod to them in the Captain Marvel movie, because in the comics she hangs out with them. Okay. So I imagine we'll see something with them. Sasquatch will be the new group. I thought you meant like. Canada's uh, Captain America, the Canadian Shield. Captain Canuck? No, I was going with the Canadian Shield, oh. but Captain Canuck works too. I, mean, I thought it was Captain Canuck. They're two different characters. Oh. I know the British one is uh, Union Jack. I mean, th th I mean that's that's pretty. Good. I mean, that sounds like a hero name. Yeah. Captain Canuck sounds terrible. <laughs> I mean, he looks like some of the art for him is cool. 
I wonder if there's any oh other. My God, just that Vox interview with the one Canadian guy coming down, and he's like, "I don't like Canada. Uh, like, you can't tell a joke now." And he's like, "Oh, you're from Kanukistan." It's like, God damn it, you fucking inbred fox. Yeah, see, look, here, here's uh, the Canadian shield uh, punching Hitler. He, that he, doesn't look great. No, but he is literally our Captain America. He's a dude who punches Nazis. I, I guess DC has that uh, show that nobody watches that's a comedy about superheroes. Oh, the one where it's, it's like... It's called, like, Powerless or Powerless, something. yeah. I, is that still going? I'm pretty sure it's not. I, I, I don't know. Nobody, nobody watched it. I don't know anyone who's seen it. So, do you know what's the weirdest thing for me right now? Or not for me, but the weirdest thing I kind of sat there. I was watching The No, mm -hmm. and they were like, uh, the Switch has a huge library coming out uh, leading up to the holiday season. Mm -hmm. And they're like, Mario Odyssey, a bunch of other cartoony games... And then they're like, and Wolfenstein and Doom. And it just hard cuts into just punching a, a demon in the face and having its head explode. And I was like, that was a little uh, abrupt. Yeah, I saw that they were going to come out. And I'm curious to see how they it. Because I've only seen cutscene footage. Yeah. Which looked noticeably worse, hmm. but if you're now, but you'd only notice that in docked because when things look worse, you shrink it down on the portable screen, it looks fine. Yeah, because that's just the way textures work. It's canon. Oh. Um. I want to see that game running because if that game can run at sixty on the Switch, some people got some splaining to do <laughs> over at Nintendo. <laughs> Oh. Well, because it goes back to that Mario thing. Like, they're just... Some voodoo witchcraft? Yeah. I mean, the Switch is not a crazy piece of tech. No. So, even if they can get... Well, I mean, think about when uh, Doom came out and Wolfenstein came out. They, they well, not so much. That, that's why I'm saying Doom, not so much Wolfenstein. Because Doom is still less than a year old, I think. Yeah. So, like, that's pretty new. I guess. In the Switch is by by all accounts it is the weakest console, so that it can run, but they haven't said if it's thirty or sixty or. Anything. I love that everyone's saying um, the uh, we the Switch is outselling Xbox and uh, PlayStation Four right now, mm -hmm. and I'm just kind of sitting there it's like, yeah, because everyone has an Xbox and or. Yeah, that's that's kind of what happens when you get into the like double digits of millions versus yeah. the single digits is. You know, and the Switch is much newer. Like, yeah, it's just newer. the hot thing. And everyone's like, oh, the Switch is out selling them on. I'm just like, I wonder why. <laughs> and also, like, neither of them have, like, huge exclusives currently. Yeah. Well, a Xbox is done. There, there's no more exclusives coming to Xbox. They straight up said it. They're all coming to PC. Throw, that, throw your Xbox in the garbage. <laughs> And, like, Sony had, like, I the their last two exclusives I picked up and enjoyed both of them, but they're not, like, system sellers. You're not going to get a ton of sales on an Uncharted spinoff and an HD remake of the first Yakuza game. Mm. They're, you know, they're great, but, you know, it's just not going to fly units off the shelf. Yeah, it's, it, it's just what happens when a new game console comes out at the end of another two's life cycle. Oh, no, we're not there yet. We won't see another PlayStation or Xbox for another two years at least. Thank God. <laughs> I need time to save up. Uh, I really hope they don't go with the PS5. At this point, why not? Really? It sounds dumb. Like, the PS5 sounds dumb. I mean, one, one through four sounded pretty stupid, too. No, oh, PS... It, it, it's, just calling it one, two, three, four, five, like keeping with that number convention, is the is the it's just safe. Yeah, 
You can't get mad at it. You could wish it was something else, but at the end of the day, like, you could have a Wii situation, which was... We got used to it, but it is still, even looking back, a terrible name. The Wii U, even worse. And, and the... You could have a home run. Like, the 360 was a pretty solid name. Because you could just call it the 360. Because <laughs> no other system had that. <laughs> 360, 720, 180. Well, no, it's clearly they're not going to do that anymore. Oh, shit, no, I went backwards. I, I went forwards, and then I went right back to this. It's, it, it's entirely possible, because the new one's the X-Bunks, because it's Xbox One X, which is just... Stop. Stop. Make a new console. Scorpio. It's entirely possible that the new Xbox is called the Xbox Two. Do you, do, do you ever think that... Uh... This Xbox One X will have the same issue that uh, the Wii U had, where people confused the naming convention, and instead of buying the latest console, they bought the previous console. Well, we're, this is still only like a baby step. Yeah. Even if they make that mistake, it's not the end of the world. I guess. Because there's only two people, only two kinds of people would be buying a console, which is someone who knows what it is, mm -hmm. which in which case they already have an Xbox One, so they know the difference between the two. And if you, or a mom buying their kid the first one, either of them, so if they don't have either, buying either one is fine, because while the Xbox One X is definitely more powerful, if all the games are still going to run on Xbox One X, yeah, save a hundred bucks, or however, whatever the price difference is, get the, get the old one. Like, even as, like, a diehard Sony pony, I don't have a PS4 Pro, because all, all the games still run on the base one, so uh, I don't really care about, you know, a couple extra pixels and the, you know, to drop a couple hundred bucks on that. I just don't care that much. Now, but as far as, as, far as games coming out in the future... Uh, Okami is mm -hmm. coming out again. Like the for the third time or fourth? Third, I think. Originally came out on the PS2, re released for the PS3. Came out on the Wii. Came out on the Wii. And then this will be. Well, you, you don't count the first time. I guess. So three iterations of it. And, uh. It, uh. I was listening to... Now, you know this, I know this, and anyone who knows him knows this. I was listening to the co-optional. Yeah. And they had mentioned it. And TV... And it's also coming to PC, so TV's like, yeah, 4K, 60 FPS, the game will look beautiful. No, it won't. Be, because... Because I, I... I've never seen any hard evidence more than this but TB is part of that graphics culture that doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about making textures higher resolution and giving you 60 FPS doesn't change how good the assets are made that game still looks like a fucking PS2 game I saw the fu I saw the footage I watched the trailer this morning that game looks like ass that art they're like oh yeah the art style really made it look not out of date no it, it looks terrible it looks like a PS2 game the textures are crisp sure yeah. doesn't change the fact that that model's got a hundred polygons on it I don't know at the time like, it was something different no I, no at the like I, I'm not gonna say it's a bad game and by all accounts I'm probably gonna pick it up cause I've never actually played it so cause I heard some people complaining they're like they released this shit too much and I was like you know what normally have I, you played a, it's a Capcom <laughs> game of course we'll see Come like on. I mean, if you look over at my games, every time they re-released Jack and Dexter or, you know, any of those, like, Sony classics, I, I buy them every time. So when they're like, they release these things too much, I go, yeah, they kind of do, and I still buy them because I'm a chump. But this time when people go, they've released Okami enough, I go, yeah, but I'm okay this time because I haven't touched it, so I'll actually play it now. Yeah. Because I wasn't going to go back. It's, it's too far behind me. I don't know. I kind of like the cartoony art style. It's it's a. Cool, it looks like a water painting. No, it's it's a cool art style. 
But to say that game looks good because it's 4K 60 FPS is just a lie. It doesn't. It doesn't look make that game look that much better. Crisper, which when you're going for paint, I don't know if you want crisp. Hmm. You want it a little smudgy. But that brings up a whole bigger argument of like, I wish we had more stylized games. Oh. As opposed to none. Well, I mean, every time someone tries, they're like, oh, the gameplay sucks. This isn't Call of Duty. Um, like, Killer is dead. Um, I don't know. It's just... Anytime someone tries to do something original and artistic, it doesn't sell well. Well, I, I think that's the time when you lower the price of your game. Don't release it at 60. Mm. Release it at 40. If, if you don't think it'll do well... I mean, I, I, I honestly think if you are taking a risk, it's better to have a bunch of people buy it at, say, 40 than a few buy it at 60. Because I'm willing to bend on a $40 game. I was this close to picking up Destiny 2. I went to the mall. I sat there and looked at it. And then I saw the price. And I was like, fuck that. Yeah, but but I bet if that was forty, you'd be like, yeah. yeah right. If it was forty some dollars, yeah, I'd be all, I'd be like, okay. Well, even for us, I, I guess the conversion would be, because Destiny would be ninety for us. So if it was like sixty, it was seventy nine ninety nine. Well, yeah, after taxes comes to like ninety one. Yeah, I was like, no, I'm not. I'm gonna go buy some Yu Gi Oh cards. Well, like that's kind of why I was happy with yakuza because even though there's a ton of smaller games coming out i'm like i can just deal with this one big purchase it'll do me a while joe you know i was not prepared for when getting into Yu Gi Oh. the fact i'd have to read a fucking essay to figure out the card effect on one card and i have multiple cards that are just like hey you want to use this card and you want to use its effect you better be prepared to read a fucking paragraph of rules. I think the only time I ever liked Yu-Gi-Oh! was the, the Game Boy game. Where you could just fuse any two monsters and it didn't matter. If it wasn't a fusion or not, you could just do it. Because why not? God, I wish it was that simple. I don't know, I've never... Never get into any card games. I mean, I played Yu-Gi-Oh! because I was a kid at one point, and everyone did. But I never got into it. I just played it because it was cool. And as an adult, you know, have more than enough opportunities to get into mainly Yu-Gi-Oh! or Magic. And I just don't care to. Mm -hmm. It's too much learning for me. Like... Before, it was like, okay, I'm going to start playing Magic. Started playing it, and I was like, oh, this is fun and easy, and I can understand the rules. And then I'm like, I'm going to start playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'm sitting there, and he's like, hold on, guys. I have to f go ask the uh, librarian if this current uh, book is in print and how relevant the, de the research is on it. And then I have to go through the index cards to figure out, you know, where this one book is, and then go find the book, then bring it down to the library and check the, and check the sources. And it's just, like, to keep track of all the fucking abilities that are going on, on the field, in my graveyard, in my hand, in the banished pile, in my deck. It's just like, I... This, this is a children's card game. Okay. I was gonna say, I'm finding it very hard to empathize with this, knowing that eight-year-olds are pros at it. Are they, though? Yeah. Because every pro... If they, if they have been on a televised tournament, I would consider that a pro. Because I've looked up some of these pros, and they're in their, tw like, oh, late no, teens, no, no, I'm 20s. sure some are. But there is undoubtedly kids who are great at it. But on the world stage? Because there are, like... You don't have to be on the world stage to be a pro. Yeah. But, yes. But it, just Timmy down at your card shop? 
Yeah, sure. Plane is blue eyes white. I'm, I'm sure there's some. Actually, I, I don't know how hot Yugo is today. Like, I, I think it's, it's pretty hot that there's like dozens upon dozens of channels just. Well, no, but I, I think it's sort of moved into Magic the Gathering. But Magic era. Yeah. Well, no, it's just that like, it's not hot like it used to be. It's just there's always going to be people playing it, so they'll always put out new cards because there's always going to be someone. Konami's got to make that money somehow. Do they own Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Yes, they do. Oh yeah, they totally do. Kana- like, I forgot about that until I picked up and then I sat there and I realized that I was supporting Konami again and I was like I kind of want to shoot myself in the head. I mean... I don't know... They're not that bad. I guess. Hmm. You know, they just entreat their... Uh... Oh, you, Oh, so, because uh, I, I was curious. Konami didn't always own it. Oh? They owned it. Then Upper Deck bought them. But then Konami bought it back. Ah, <laughs> uh, but... Maybe Upper Deck isn't the right people for that. Which, you know, while they are a card company, they're mainly sports cards. Yeah. And it's not quite the same market. <gasps> oh, jeez. Now, so y- you m- you mentioned this to me. That it, it was in a, a bit of a click, you know, Prince Edson did in a bit of a clickbaity way, but yeah. the actual story was kind of interesting. That one of the higher ups at EA thinks that gaming might stop existing, like soon, like phys- like having a physical copy, and we might go to like what a net, like a service based. Yeah. So so not even not just get rid of digital movie uh, games, not just get rid of digital games. It, it's you like don't, it's all gone. It's yeah. all streaming. Yeah. Which sounds terrible. Yeah. Because, I, I mean, as much as I shit on uh, digital purchases, because you're not actually buying the game, you're buying the license to be able to buy that game, and that license can be taken away from you at any moment, whether it be your console shitting out on you, or the terms of service changing and you abuse it, or... Just any sort of, just a myriad of reasons Mm -hmm. that game is not yours. And if you believe it, that it is yours. Well, 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 I mean, that's the fact with physical discs, too. Yeah. Because the physical disc is essentially just a gateway. At least you have the physical disc and the case. I guess. You have something physical that you bought. You have a physical representation of... The money you. Earn. I mean, look, I I prefer physical things, yeah. but it, if the they game didn't up. if the game didn't run, I don't think I'd care about it. Mm. Even though I'm not gonna play half those games on my shelf anyway. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, no, like, no more digital, no more hard copy. Um, you pay ninety nine dollars a month, let's say. Well, he said ten, okay. not a hundred. <laughs> okay. Because he compared it to Netflix. Which, like... I don't want to say it can't be done. It's this because whole cloud mentality that everyone wants to push and that nobody knows how to get working properly. No, no, well, that's what it all comes down to. But I bet, you know, rewind ten years, people had the same thing about Netflix. I probably would have been anti-Netflix before it came around. Yeah, but, I mean... I'm not big into movies or TV. Like, well, no, but I I would say I'm equally into movies years ago? as I am. Game. Well, I don't know when Netflix came around. Okay, I know it was technically around okay. for way before it blew yeah. up. But so before Netflix kind of blew up, um, if you came early two hundred, early two hundreds, early two thousands, or late nineties. No, well, okay, it blew up around like two thousand six. Okay. So around 2006, I wasn't watching TV anyway, because I've just become well, so no. sick of Well, the me then is different than the me now, but if you take me at 24 and you put me in that time, 
with how much I currently watch movies and how much I currently play games, if you told me, like, yeah, well, you know, all movies are just going to be streaming now, I'd be like, that's fucking stupid. But, can't argue, it was done right. Yeah. People love Netflix. I have it. You have it. So, like, if it's done well, right... Well, technically, I don't have it. Well, I have a subscription to Crunchyroll because I am a weeaboo. <laughs> I am a proper gentleman. I am... But the thought that wars were fought <laughs> over we're, we're not why get, foods. We're not getting but, into EVE Online but, politics. But EVE Online is such a neat game. There have been wars fought for just a myriad of reasons. And the latest one was the waifu or the, the weeb wars. The weeb wars. Where people Which wasn't even a war. It was just one guy was real crafty. Yeah. Well, no, it's... Yeah. Started off with an argument over whose waifu was better, and then just escalated into people losing thousands of dollars. Oh, real dollars. dollars. What was it? It was 13,000. 13,000 pounds? Something like that. But that yeah. was also spread across multiple people. It wasn't like one person lost 13,000. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's but no, they they lost it and then it all went to one guy. Yes, that's amazing. Now, so th- there's PlayStation Now, which is like the closest we have to like gaming Netflix, where it's I think it's twenty dollars a month. Yeah, for unlimited games and like I've used it. It's fine. That's on top of your PlayStation what? Plus account, though. Unfortunately, yes. Yeah. But I think as long as you had a, a better library and you'd have to, at the end of the day, you have to have an option to just download the game, not stream it. Yeah. Because if you don't have a really good internet connection, you're not gonna it's be not going to work. Yeah. So I'm not going to say we aren't going to head that way because if Netflix is anything to show it, we probably are going to go that way. So. Yep. I just saw that uh, Zanzibar arrests 20 over homosexuality. And then my first thought was, Jesus, Africa. <laughs> I, I mean, look, I, I'm not for people getting jailed for being gay but the are either you gotta make the argument which rather than be killed because it's one or the other I, I guess when you have people when you still have witch burnings in Af- South Africa <laughs> so, so it's, it's a real toss up I don't know how the prisons are there and that entirely dictates how I would answer that question because maybe death is better uh, are they gonna burn them like they burn those witches? Because that still fucked me up to this day. No, I mean maybe I don't. I don't know. That lady was screaming. <laughs> yep, and it, and I slept like a baby that <laughs> night. Now, do, do you do you want to get into some controversy? Sure. How much do you know about what's been going on with PewDiePie? Oh, the, he said the end? Mm-mm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then he came out and apologized, and it's just like, you're a grown fucking man. You should have known better from the start. You insepidly stupid man child. Now, come on. Have a little fucking decency and principles. Th- there, I, I got into a pretty heated argument with people over this, because... Some people think he should be allowed to say what he wants. Which, I agree with. If there was a joke. Mm. If he... No. No. Says a slur. Free speech is good and all. But the fact is, there are still consequences to what you say. Well, no, I'm not saying he gets a, a free pass. I'm just saying I would be okay with someone saying a joke. Free speech means you just don't go to jail. Yeah, and... Yeah. You're still going to be judged, ostracized, or whatever the hell what people want to do. But, like, well, like, I, I compare it to Louis C.K. Hmm. He's said it a lot. 
in his specials. People still like him. Yeah. It's because he's funny, and he used yeah. it well. And that, that's my point. But, like, it... I mean, you can see it in the clip. He uses it as an insult, which yeah. is the way to not use it. No, he's an insepidly... Like, I know before <laughs> in a few podcasts, I was like, his PewDiePie persona is fucking annoying, but this is just him being him. He's being an insepidly stupid well, rich man Well, I've been, like, flipping all over the place on how I feel about this story because my, my big thing in how I got into this argument with someone is I am for free speech. I have to be. Even though we don't have it in this country, I do support it. Because I, I listen to some incredibly offensive podcasts. And I don't want them to go away. I think they're very funny. I don't care if someone make, thinks that makes me a Nazi. It doesn't. I just think it's funny. But, so I support him saying what he... I support free speech, but I don't support it that way. Like, if we go back to the, whenever the hell happened, the Michael Richards incident. Not a good way to use that word. Yeah. Uh, but my issue with him is basically what you said. Is he's being a man-child. He yeah. should have known better. I'm not, it's not so much I'm against him saying it as a human being. I'm against him saying it. He's already in the spotlight because yeah. he's the head of YouTube. Yeah. He's in the spotlight because he just fucked up a he, month or two ago. And he's he's ruining YouTube for everybody. Yeah. It's like you said. He is the head of YouTube. He is the, fi- he is the poster child of YouTube's yeah. success. So you have to be a paragon for everyone under you. And, and that's my beef. It's not what... It's not what he said it's what he said mixed with who he is i mean just because free speech is free speech like that whole mire of oh well, yeah it's a whole can of worms with yeah. free speech the fact is you're st- like you still have to have principles you still have to be a decent well, human he, being well i mean we'll compare it to us nobody watches our videos yeah. but there was one time where i did slip and said like a pretty mild, mild. slur most people don't okay. most people have never even heard it okay but anyone who does know it knows that this is a slur yeah I edited it out yeah cause I'm like oops really shouldn't have said that and like so I, I did the appropriate thing which is I just cut it out now yeah. now granted he couldn't he was live streaming yeah actually so was I <laughs> so I could just apologize on the spot unlike him where he apologized days later I just said whoops like just came out but in the reason why is, so people were saying like, if he just says it so casually, that means he's a Nazi. I don't agree with that. I don't think he's a Nazi. No, well, I think he's just and, and it's because a man child. Like, no, it's entirely a man child. Because while I haven't done it recently, I, I mean, I'll, I'll admit right now there has been times in my past where I've said some heinous shit, where like, it's not a joke. Like if a third party came up, it's not funny. But to me and my friends. It's hilarious because we were children. I mean, I say children, we were probably like 18. But that's still a child. Really. So, I don't think that makes him evil. So anyone painting him to be evil just because he said a slur doesn't mean he's a racist. Um, but, you no, know, it's entirely that this whole adpocalypse thing that they're calling it, where everyone's back and white, is because of him. Yeah. And things were starting to slowly get better, and, and then, then he, he fucked fucks up, up again. Yeah. Now... The main thing I want... And just to come out and say, oh, I'm sorry, I was an idiot. No. Well, I'm sorry. I, you think that makes it okay? No, see, that's... And that's the problem. I think his apology was good. It's just shitty for him that because of the position he's in, wasn't good enough. I don't know. I, I don't think he can be... Like, he can't be that fun... Like, he's got to rein himself in now. Because... He, like I said before, he is the poster child of YouTube. Yeah. He can't, like, it's like being a politician. Mm -hmm. You can't do a lot of things you used to do once you come to a higher place of power. Until, like, unless he wants to give everything. Like, he can't be a normal person anymore. No. He will always be PewDiePie. He can't, like, 
I don't know. I mean, it, did you watch this apology video? I wasn't going to until like it was just in my face too much. And I saw that it was 90 seconds. So I was like, I can sit through 90 seconds. Uh, did I watch it? I watched clips of it. I watched I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I watched him say I'm sorry. I mean, I was I was being an idiot. Well, yeah, and, and I agree with that cuz at the end of the day people do slip up. Yeah. And and but, I But I mean, you can't you Well, no, that's, you abs- that's why. when you have millions of people, you absolutely cannot slip up. When people are losing when people who have never met him in real life are losing money because of something he said, he really he can't do that. And now what I said to someone might be too harsh, but I don't know if I entirely disagree. You should just, YouTube should just delete his channel. I mean, what? How many times has he slipped up now? Twice? Yeah. I mean, maybe give him a third shot. I mean, Disney's dropped him. Mm-hmm. Um, they took away his YouTube Red yep. show. Um, and now someone was saying, like, wherever he goes, that's where everyone else will go, and that's what be, the new YouTube will be, in which I'll say, I don't think so. Do you want to follow I, that? Where, where I don't watch him, I'm like, I'm going to stay on YouTube. Yeah. Like, him leaving wouldn't affect me at all. If anything, it'll bring ads back, so the people I watch will be happier. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think if, like, I get it people want to be able to say what's on their mind Mm -hmm. and people want to not be persecuted for that on the same time I think people need to have more of a moral compass and need to have some fucking principles well like okay so a perfect example is like we want to talk about something more serious and I know a few YouTubers who do this they have a separate channel yeah for that where they never mention it in their mainstream channel. It's you have to like this person as a person yeah. to know about this channel. I think Boogie, Boogie has that one of those. He has his gaming channel and then he has his vlog channel. Yeah, and, and like there's a, a few other YouTube people like that. And like that's where you can get into like more personal shit. And like, you know, dropping an end bomb isn't really personal. But I mean, you shouldn't. Have, like,. You well, well I, I think half my point is, if he dropped one on his side channel that has, like, say, 200,000 subs, no one would give a shit. I don't think that's true. Oh, no. Tr- trust me. There'd still be an article about it. Yeah. But it wouldn't be this giant hubbub. Because they wouldn't look at the it The Washington as, Post probably wouldn't pick it up. Yeah. Well, because they wouldn't look at it as PewDiePie... Because it's not that channel. They would look at it as small channel says bad thing and people would forget about it. Yeah. But have you heard the newest development in this? Oh, Jesus. And now this isn't a... It, it's about him, but it's not something he did. Okay. Uh, Campo Santo game company. Yeah. Oh, made, the... Made Firewatch. Yes, Firewatch. You hear what they did? They're dropping DMCAs on his content. Yes. And because they don't want to be associated with someone that yes can just belt and, out and, and what I say is they're wrong. I don't think they should be allowed to do that. And, and now they're legally allowed to do it. They're not. I thought the, the problem. Well, the problem is they're in a legal gray area where they well, both can well, and let's, can't. Let's plays are in a legal gray area. Yeah. To begin with. Well, no, and that's what he did. Was he did let's plays. Yeah. So there's because there's and, never been a case, but there's no. But didn't TB like Total Biscuit had to talk to an in, uh, one of these content lawyers, and he said that the Firewatch developers are within can do this in all rights. They can sue him within all rights, but yeah. it doesn't mean they'll he'll win. It's because a case like this has never been looked at. Yeah. But personally, I don't think they should be allowed. I to do think that. he should be punished. No, no, he like, should. The be. golden child needs to be no. taken down a peg and learn. I think he should be punished. Lesson. But the thing is. The slur wasn't in his Firewatch videos. And he said... He did the Firewatch videos years. Years! Before this happened. Before either event happened. I think it's fair to ban him from playing any... You can't even ban him from playing any future games. Don't send him review codes. Yeah. That's all you can do as as a producer. I don't think... Because... 
forget for speech. If you sell a product, I don't think you can single out a person and say you're not allowed to buy it. I think that's that's I don't I don't want to start getting in that mess because that'll lead to a whole bunch of problems. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I I think it's time for him to learn a lesson. Oh no, he should be punished in some way, but I don't think Campo Santos is the people to do it. No. Like I think YouTube is the one that needs to no, come no. out and say, "Listen, we need to talk." Yeah, demonetize all of his videos if they haven't. Like that's how you punish him. Well, actually, they have to because if everyone else is getting punished, there's no way. No, I don't think he's being punished. But but okay, you know he might not be because I think he's the golden goose. The the, the only analog I can compare to this is something you you can't follow. Well, it's not something. You, you can follow it, it's just you don't follow it. Hmm. it. Is the UFC? Yeah. Has their has their golden goose, who's a fuck up. <laughs> it's been busted for drugs multiple times, been busted but, for steroids but multiple no times. Has done actual crimes, hit and runs. Yeah, but because they he's won't the, let him go because he's too good. Yeah. And yeah, PewDiePie might be the same thing. Where like he'll get a slap on the wrist, but that's all he'll ever get because it's PewDiePie. He's too good. I don't know. I th- I think as a content creator, us, mm-hmm. we need to be held to a certain standard. Because yeah. if we're going to be successful, if, if any content creator wants to be successful, you are basically influencing your audiences. Mm-hmm. And you have to be held accountable to the same, to the same, like, maybe it's time that the wild west of the internet kind of comes to the end and we have to adopt say the same broadcast standards that television uh i don't know if we'll go there but i had mentioned an esrb for oh, youtube fuck well because it shouldn't be the youtube's job to monitor you that that's not their job yeah it should be your parents job so and i i think that's all you can really do is mark him M, which honestly, from any of the videos I've seen, controversy or not, he swears a lot. Yeah. And his audience is primarily children. <laughs> Don't, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm glad it's not my job. To monitor, monitor all the content that's ever put up on YouTube? Yeah. Because, like... Stuff I know I haven't... Like, I've said some off-color things. Yeah. Certainly. And I've said some racial things. Now, the only thing, like, objectively racist, like I mentioned earlier, I, cu- I just cut out. You now, if someone caught me on the stream, there's nothing I can do about it. But... Because <sighs> as a fan of offensive comedy, that I don't think offensive things should go away. It's just such a weird point. Well, I, I, I think it's like I said earlier. It's if you don't like the content he's putting out, the I parents think, should make sure their kids don't watch him. I think comedy and YouTube videos are two separate medium. Well, okay, well, I know there are comedians that kind of blur the like, I, not blur the line. What am I trying to say? I don't think like because I mean, what kind of kid's gonna look up Louis C.K. True. Who, who? I mean, it's not until you become an adult that you really start to learn. But I mean, like, even watching, because like most of my YouTube is Let's Plays, if and I've seen them where they make an offensive joke in it, and like I don't, I want that to get cut out. It was really funny. So like, if a kid saw that, like, it, that shouldn't be their problem. That should be the parents' problem. But what I think this is is the new. Way back when, books were bad, and it's Comic, your fault. Comic books were bad. Well, and video then games were bad. D and D was bad. Like, in every time, and I think we're just gonna hit it again. Every time, they go, the establishment is wrong. They shouldn't be putting this out. And every time it comes back, it goes, no, maybe you should fucking watch your kids. And honestly, I kind of hope it does turn to that for YouTube because we live in a world where like I don't have kids and like 
You do, but like they're not in an age that this is an issue. No, yet. she's currently <laughs> filling her diaper. Uh, but like I see so many people who I know with like older kids who are like, you know, four, six, seven, eight. You know, in yeah. early tween, at an age where like they still have to be watched to a degree. Yeah. Here, g- give them the phone. Give Go nuts. Them. Give them the tablet. Yeah, and they. Oh, you want to buy you you want this video game? What is it? Grand Theft Auto Seven. Yeah. So like, I, I hope we do. Kind of reach. I don't know how much it'll change if we reach a world where YouTube is, not censored but monitored to a degree where like kids can't watch I, shit they should. I see. honestly don't think YouTube should be censored. I think that people should just have a little bit of. Uh, common courtesy a little bit of morality a little bit of uh what's the word i'm looking for principles true grow the fuck up well, and yeah. stop being children i mean i guess if as the parent of a child i shouldn't have to sit there and explain to why why someone's being a jackass for saying something and tell them you're being a fucking child Okay, well, so... Because I'm already taking care of one child, I don't need to explain... I don't need to talk to some fucking fully grown adult and say to them, you're being a fucking child. So, be, be us yep. in this hypothetical situation. We're, we, we're an overnight success. No. For whatever reason, something... What, what? We're something, overnight success? Something just explodes. Something just explodes. And okay. we, we do great. This is a hypothetical. Of course, because we're that's never going to happen. Yeah. Uh, say we go from our current 16 subs to in, because we post a video every day, so I, I see our sub count daily. Um, I guess overnight we go from 16 to like 36,000, which is still small, but like that's a pretty big jump. Not all kids. Do, do we suddenly change who we are? I mean, I'd probably stop swearing as much. I try. I don't. I, I try. try. It I, work. I'd honestly try. <laughs> no, no, I did too. It doesn't work because it's just I. I swear. Yeah, it happens. I mean, working at a yacht club, I was around swearing a lot. Well, I mean, I, I don't. As an adult, you don't have to really defend swearing. It's, it's no. Well, no. I mean, but before when I wasn't working at like there was a very noticeable period of time when I was in high school, I was I wasn't swearing all that much. Mm-hmm. I get into the workforce where I work in a yacht club. I'm around swearing all the time. I pick up some very colorful sailor language. I work at another yacht club. I start swearing even more because my bosses are swearing. The people I'm working with are swearing. I had a Russian uh, co-worker Mm -hmm. who was later found out to be ex-KGB deported back to Russia. And I kind of sat there going like, I worked with an ex-KGB member. Great. Oh, boy. And then I worked at a yacht club, or not a yacht club, but a welding shop for three years of my life. And I can honestly tell you, not the pretty, some 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 of them were gentlemen. Other of them were fairly uncouth. Mm-hmm. And they swore up, just up and down the shop aisles. So, kind of working at the animation studio, I kind of tend to swear a lot. I mean, we're just and I, I and I, yeah, but I mean, I swear, like that little segment we just recorded. I don't know how many times I said fucking. Probably a lot. Now, like yeah. I, I've recently learned, I can turn it off. But if I'm not in the situation where I'm consciously like don't swear, it's just gonna come out. Cause yeah. like, I mean, you've talked to her enough. My girlfriend doesn't swear at all. No. So I. Try to stay pretty clean around her. Yeah. And I know she's fine with it. She's like, you're an adult. You can swear. That's fine. But, you know, when in Rome type situation. Do is the right. No, I mean, I kind of, I don't know if I have an off switch for it. I just, I'm a very quote unquote passionate person. No, well, no. Yeah. If I get heated. Yeah. It's going to come out. But also recently... I found love for creative insults that weren't technically cursing. 
Like the other day, I called someone an uncircumcised skunk pecker, and that really made me laugh. And like, that's not a curse. It's a little dirty, maybe, but it's dirty. It's pretty good. <laughs> Which, like, there's a whole bunch of questions raised in that insult. Yeah. Who goes around circumcising skunks to differentiate between circumcised and uncircumcised skunks? Jewish skunks is the, is the answer to that question. But anyway, so yeah, we explode. Yeah. Do we put out a video the next day saying, like, Hey, we are not for children. I think... And hope the parents watch it. I think that's something we like because I think say, that's like, all we could do in our power. Like we'd have to like at least that would cover our asses a little bit. Be like, we have a video. We have specifically stating we are not for kids. Well, like, and you can even set up on channels like when you go to a channel, the video like audio yeah. plays. I put that one on it, being like, look, if if your kid is like mature or whatever, and you trust your kid that he can deal with swearing or whatever. But I mean, who's who, what kind of kid's gonna be like? Oh, mommy, can you uh, can you check this box confirming that I can watch this because I'm a well-adjusted <laughs> child? Well, no, you you can't put anything that a kid can physically do because, I mean, anyone who's existed since the internet's been watching porn forever because they just go, "How old are you?" And you go, yeah. "Yes." <laughs> How old are you? I am ninety-nine. <laughs> And, yeah, and they would never be like, that's not weird at all. I mean, that's how I looked up porn on my grandmother's computer. Yeah. Really? And then she got tons of viruses and then was like, Duncan, stop looking at porn on my computer. And I'm like, I'm not looking at porn on your computer. And my dad's like, he's not looking at porn on your computer. And then I'm sitting there, he totally was looking at porn on your computer, grandma. But like, so like, take take PewDiePie totally out of this. Because it, it, I'll admit it, it sucks for him being in the spotlight. He can't get away with what other people can get away with. And that is shitty for him. I wouldn't want to be in his spot. No. I'd want to be able to just apologize and I'm done with it. Yeah. Like that I did what I could, but that's not good enough for him. No, because he's... Our non-existent paycheck <laughs> is non-existent for... because of him. Yeah. I mean, you were the one who brought it to my attention. You turn on restricted mode. Oh boy, our videos go real small. Yeah. And now, like, I wish it wasn't so automated that I wish I got some notification. Because, like, you can curse in PG movies, but, like, you have, like, a limit. And I don't think you can ever say fuck. I think once you say that, it's already, like, PG-14 or... Yeah, it's shit ass. Yeah. I don't know where titties falls on it. I think titties is safe. Okay. Like pecker. It's not technically wrong. Bollocks. <laughs> yeah, so I guess let's just hope that doesn't happen. Because I feel confident that I can keep a pretty level head. I cannot. Well, no, I, I just mean in the sense that I'm not going to start yelling, you know, racist, racist, slurs, racist yeah. remarks. No, I'm fairly calm. I'm fairly confident. I am beyond confident that I can sit here and not be a racist bigot. And, and like I've said I'm sure we both have but only one thing specifically comes to mind uh, that I've said to be fair to be transparent I did kind of make a 9-11 reference no, this week. No that's fine. Dark, no, that, Especially when we were watching that little people's uh, clip when they're flying the plane through the city and I'm sitting there just going like look it, it's look I'll be honest it's hard not to make 9-11 jokes on 9-11. It's just impossible. It's it's reminding you every time you see the date. Yeah. I, I was... Uh, now... To not throw these other people under the bus... Because I, I was with a group of two or three people. We were at a Tim Hortons on a 9-11 many years ago. We're all, <gasps> oh, is this... And we're almost kicked out because we just couldn't stop laughing about it. And now again, that comes from like... Am I totally fine with 9-11 jokes? Yep. But maybe don't make them in a fucking Tim Hortons. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that, I guess that's what it comes down to. Like, I don't, you know, big shock. Not cool racists. Mm. But if you're going to make racist comments, don't do them on your 50 million subscribed YouTube account. If you want to say them off off record, whatever. I can't get mad at you. No one else heard it. Yeah. Again, it comes down to free speech. And free speech is okay. 
But there's time and a place. There's a time and a place, and you can't. You can expect not to go to jail, but you can't expect there not to be consequences for your actions. There is always going to be consequences for your actions. That's why I'm pretty happy that nobody watches this. Because I've said some like pretty argumentative things, yeah. particularly in, in... But I know that you're playing devil's advocate. Eh, not always. Okay. In that feminist episode, I said some shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still pretty salty about that, being referred to as a dirt dude bro. I don't remember why I did that. I probably had a reason. You were you were like Duncan doesn't usually like talk about this, and then Mark. Oh right, was no. Like oh, it's because he one of those dude bros, and I'm sitting there listening to it. And I'm, like, I'm not a dude bro. Well, that that's her fault because she forgot she's met you. Yeah. Uh. Like I I just I was, <laughs> I'm not a dude bro. I'm anything but a dude bro. You know, let, let, let's go on a slightly lighter topic to not okay. end in chaos. Okay, I'm good with not ending in chaos. Okay, so I, I had an interesting conversation the other day about social norms. Yeah. But, like, ludicrous ones. Okay, this should be fun. And it's, it's just that, have you been to the bathroom on my floor at no, work? I've never been to the bathroom Okay. Oh, is that the one where you have to like? It's, it's got not, a ludicrously not, long hallway. Yeah, it's not in the actual studio. You have to go in the mall. Le- you have to leave your the office. You have to walk down the corridor. Mm-hmm. Then you have to enter in like a four digit code. Yep. And then it's like an L. Yep. It's like a long hallway down. You take a hard right or left. And then it's another long, long hallway. hallway. Okay. So. So obviously, like. Normal people aren't supposed to go in there. That's why there's yeah. a lock on the door. But so I always try to quickly shut the door behind me because I don't want people seeing this is a bathroom because they're not allowed to come in here. Yeah. But who was it who decided that just tiles mean bathroom? And that was entirely my thought because that's a social norm. If you. You've never seen well, it. Well, I mean, but the 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 walls have tiles yeah. on them. When you open the second you open the door, do the, the whole floors, hallway. Do the floors have tiles? Yeah. Okay. Tiles everywhere. Just three sixty ba- tiles. Okay, so in the bathroom, right, there are also tiles. Yep. Okay. The ba- the hallway looks identical to the okay. bathroom. Cleaning a bathroom is easier when its tiles are laminate. No, it's fine for like, I, I get it, but at the same time, like, then why aren't you know? The, if tiles are just always easier to clean. Yeah. Why aren't tiles in every room in the fucking house? Aesthetics. Well, no, that's my point. Who decided that tiles were the bathroom aesthetic? Because I try to close the door because quickly. Because if you shit on the floor and it's hardwood floor, that hardwood floor is just going to seep up all the shit smell and... Tanya, I want to know what kind of shits you're having if hardwood is absorbing it immediately. Well, I'm just saying if you leave it there long enough. Would you It'll do a stain. Gorilla? Okay. <laughs> Wood stains much easier than tile or laminate. Yes. There you go. Then why aren't kitchens tile? Some are. Some are. Actually, I guess I, I guess my, my mostly parents. laminate. Though. Actually, I guess my my parents' kitchen is tile. Yeah. So I mean, my parents' their kitchen is wood, but that's because it's an it was an old cottage that had been rebuilt into a house that is still very small. You know, both people who I brought this up to just immediately shuts me down because the, the truth is, like, I now I knew the cleaning answer before I, before I brought this up to yeah. you because that's what the last person brought up to. And I was like, well, it turns out I'm just an idiot because I just didn't. I don't know. It's, it's so much easier just to kill t- clean tile or laminate because you can just dump the cleaning agent in the water just everywhere and you don't have to worry about uh, mold build up I saw an ad yesterday Yeah, this is about cleaning so it's not totally that it's some mop yeah. that rings itself that's nothing new I've never seen it before I was blown away I was like I need one I've never had an ad sell me something so hard that I was like, holy shit. 
That's really nothing new. Connor. I've never seen it. Like, from the early 90s, they've had mops that ring themselves. You just kind of take the... Like, they'll have a shit... A shi- a, what's the word? Dumb. I don't know. Some sort of, like, covering mm-hmm. that you can just kind of... You grab one end, you grab the shaft... And then you just pull down on. Oh the no, top. that's that, no, that's way too much work. Okay. This is literally the girl was like mopping. She's like, "Ew, gross floor water!" And just picks up the mop and like holds it over the sink of the bathtub or whatever, wherever to ring it out. And just hits a button on the mop and like these robot arms clasp and ring out the fucking thing on the end. What a time to be alive! I was like, oh my. <laughs> they say cleaning never changes, but we have. The Metal Gear of Mops has the a The Metal mind. Gear of Mops. <laughs> oh. Well, end on a high note. We're going out with that. Okay. Uh, this, it was a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. The, the, there's no qu- questions, so. Surprise. Please, please, if you listen to this, <laughs> please email us. I, I know more people at least are subscribed on iTunes then are subscribed on YouTube so someone's listening yeah I still haven't figured out how to fix the iTunes problem where like I can't get our like emails and stuff in the descriptions it it just gives you the 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 link to the episode I'm like no they already have the episode it doesn't help me I'll fix but eh, the important parts are, the audio is there it's what matters but yeah, like Power Moose Podcast. If you think I'm an absolute tyrant, why don't you tell me that? If you and want, how I want to just completely destroy huma- like humans' free speech. If you want to yell racial slurs at new Swiffer mops, <clears throat> email us at powermoosepodcast at gmail dot com. Uh, if it's traps or gay, please fuck off. <laughs> If you, if for more up to date uh, trap info, follow Duncan on Twitter at uh, append gray. Uh, what? Oh yeah, I forgot. A P. Twitter is the one with the two P's. A P P E N D one G. No one is oh. Twitch. Oh, okay. it's append gray on Twitter. Uh, a and it's A Y not E Y. Is it? <laughs> is it? It's, it's spelled the way your last name's spelled. Fuck. Damn it. A-P-P-E-N-D-G-R-A-Y. A- it is A-Y. All right. Uh, I'm at Metal Gear Whale. Because, uh, you know, channel branding and all that. What do you, what do you, what, what tweets are you laughing oh, at? Oh, I'm laughing at the, one of the person, one of the sex robots that follow me. Hi, I'm looking for a sex friend. Meet with me. Check HTTP. Did she write meet with me? M E A T. No, she wrote missed it. opportunity. She meted out pro. She 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 meted properly. <laughs> yeah. Uh yeah. So uh yeah. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, recommendations. Oh shit! I haven't watched anything recently. Hey, if you want to be disappointed in this with just uh, everything Fox does, watch Son of Zorn. Uh, y- you know what? The only thing I've been watching recently is just go back and watch the last season of Futurama. Because even though I know I've seen it, a lot of those episodes seem new to me. Yeah. Because it just, I guess I was just zoned out during the last season. Well, I season. mean, the last season, like... The only other... T- before I actually sat down and watched the entire thing on Netflix, watching the entirety of Futurama on Teletoon or Fox was just real hit or miss. You might get a new episode or you might just get a rerun. Pretty much. So yeah, that, cause that, that's all I've been watching as far as TV goes. I'm still trying to get through the Defenders. I have not watched a single oh, episode since we talked I about it. I can't. I tried so hard. But, uh, yeah. I tried so hard. <laughs>